Well, boys and girls, this is my fan movie review of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And don't worry, this is a non-spoiler review. I'll be making a spoiler review later on. And boy, did this movie deliver on the whole Multiverse of Madness concept. This is probably going to be one of the trippiest Marvel movies, if not movies, you've ever seen. Which is why I extremely advise you do not use any recreational drugs going to this movie. Don't use no shrooms, don't use no acid, don't use no, don't use no speedball cocaine, don't use none of that. And I like the overall tone slash tones of this movie. It proves that you can push at PG-13 rating as far as you possibly can before you hit an R. And it also proves that you can incorporate horror movie elements into a superhero movie. And if you were to ask me what I would compare this movie to, if you were to combine Fantastic Beasts with Insidious and sprinkle a little bit of the movie carry on top, that's what this movie is. But central plot of the movie, Doctor Strange is once again trying to balance out his normal life with being one of the most talented and powerful sorcerers in all the Marvel Universe. And a new girl has entered the fray. Her name is America. And her power is to be able to astral project and to jump from reality to reality. And this power is going to try to be harnessed by some evil force. And Doctor Strange himself is aware of this evil force. So he goes to his best friend Wanda for help. But lo and behold, there's a reason why Wanda may or may not be able to help him. That falls into spoiler territory. And also, there's so many different jumps from Doctor Strange's character development. From him trying to live a normal life, from him trying to be the Sorcerer Supreme, from him not being the Sorcerer Supreme anymore, but still being a very, very powerful Sorcerer in his own right, to him trying to uh, assimilate life outside of the Thanos snap, all of that. And Wong, who is the new Sorcerer Supreme, he plays a bigger part in this movie than you might think. Now, he may not have as much screen time as Doctor Strange, that right there is a big duh, but he does do a hell of a job in his parts. And Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda, once again, I'll get more into that in the spoiler review. She really does rock her role slash roles because she brings the action. She brings that suspenseful role. And once again, that horror movie element that I'll go in more into detail later on. And she also brings you that, that tearjerker dramatic role. Like she really does have some moments in this movie that will you know make your heart break for the character of Wanda. But the real reason why you guys came to see this movie was for the special effects. And as far as the how crazy they get with this, they go all out, balls out with the special effects. It will warp your mind. Like I said, I, I advise you not to use any strong hardcore drugs, but you will be pleased and satisfied and sometimes your stomach may turn. And there are some horror movie elements like I mentioned before, but it kind of reminds you of those creepy possession movies. Now, earlier on, like in Avengers Age of Ultron, you saw some elements of that from Scarlet Witch, but in this movie, it's dialed up to 11. But that's pretty much all I could talk about without revealing the spoilers. But overall, I will give Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness an 8 out of 10. You guys tell me what you think. Spoiler review coming soon. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness fan spoiler review. I'm going to be doing heavy spoilers. So if you have not seen this movie yet, you have been warned. And I'm going to be talking fast because I only got two and a half minutes. So here we go. So the movie starts out in Doctor Strange's Nightmare where him, or at least a variant of himself, is running through this alternate dimension from this weird octopus creature with this girl named America Chavez, whose main power is to be able to open up portals to alternate realities and other universes. And also, a central plot revolves around this ancient artifact called the Dark Hole, which pretty much gives any magic wielder in the universe any magical power that they desire, but at a price. And Doctor Strange from the other universe decides that there's no escape from this creature, so the only way that he can stand a chance against this creature's power is to take the girl's power for himself. But ultimately, he ends up dying before he can do that, and that's when America Chavez opens up the portal to Doctor Strange, our universe. And Doctor Strange reluctantly goes to his ex-lover's wedding, but it ultimately ends up getting crashed by that same octopus creature from before, and America Chavez. And it's here that we learn that Doctor Strange's dream wasn't a dream at all. What happens in your dream happens in another reality. It's called dreamwalking a la Freddy Krueger. So Doctor Strange and Wong decide they're going to take America Chavez to Kamar Tai because that's the best place to protect her from the people who are trying to get her. And at the same time, Strange decides that he's going to go to Wanda for help because she's an expert with dark magic. It's also here that we learn Wanda, aka the Scarlet Witch, is the main antagonist because she knows about the alternate universe. She knows about America Chavez's powers and she wants this power for herself so she wants to live in her own reality with her children. So the Scarlet Witch launches a full-scale attack on Kamar Taj, and she pretty much just one-shots every single magical wielder there. And if this movie didn't give you an indication of how overpowered Wanda is, it really does now. But anyway, after she one-shots everybody, that's when the chase of the multiverse begins. Going through these multiverses, they each find out that there are multiple variants of these characters, and also the origin about what happened to America's parents. In a universe similar to our own, they run into none other than Baron Mordo, or Baron Mordo variant, who's 
actually friendly to Doctor Strange. But with Mordo being the source of Supreme in this universe and knowing all about Doctor Strange, but he's dead in this reality, is he decides that he's way too dangerous to not be locked up. So he decides to lock him up and introduce him to Marvel's Illuminati. This version of the Illuminati consists of Black Bolt, Captain Carter, Captain Marvel, Reed Richards, and Professor Charles Xavier. Spoiler alert, Wanda one-shots the entire Illuminati, but don't worry, they'll probably be back in another version. So Doctor Strange decides that the only way he'll be able to stand a chance against Wanda is to fight dark magic with dark magic, so he has to go to another universe to fight his other other alternate self for control of the dark hold. While fighting his other self in the alternate dimension, Wong is trying to protect America from the Scarlet Witch. Strange knows this and uses necromancy to bring his other dead body back to life to fight Wanda in the other universe. America made the biggest assist of all time and gave Wanda the alternate reality she wanted, but it wasn't anything like she's seen because her own children hated her. Wanda sees this and destroys the dark hole in every reality possible and destroys herself in the process. Or does she? It's also sad that Doctor Strange will never truly be happy because he's got to be the source of supreme and protect everyone. The end.